In today's challenge, we will create all possible three letter combinations from the letters A, B, C and D. And we will do this using some of the most powerful Power Query functions. This time we don't have any data tables, so let's create a new blank query just from scratch. We start with defining our letters A, B, C and D. Power Query uses list to store collections of scenes. And to create a list we use curly brackets. If you need to generate all the letters of the alphabet, just use from A to Z. Let's continue. Our goal is to create every possible combination of these letters, with three letters in each combo. For example, some combinations will be AAA, AAB, AAC and so on until DDD. This is called a Cartesian product, where each letter is paired with every other possible letter three times in this case. Let's create a new step. In the first part we will use list accumulate function. It helps us to build the combinations step by step. Think of it like stacking scenes on top of each other, starting with a blank slate. In this case we are starting with 0, 0, which means we want to build two layers of combinations to get three letters in total. The source part tells Power Query to use our letters A, B, C and D. It will keep adding these letters as we go. The part B and N in brackets, or you can use any other letters, is a key piece in how the list accumulate function works. B this represents the accumulated value, or the list of combinations that we've built so far. It starts off empty, but it grows as we go through the process. N – this is the current element from the source list that we are working with, in this case A, B, C and D. It's basically the next letter we are about to add to the combinations. And the most tricky part – list transform many. List transform many is the key function in this query that helps us combine our letters step by step. It may look complicated, but let's break it down into smaller, easier to understand pieces. First let's look at the structure. Think of this as B, the base of the combinations we've already built. It starts empty and grows as we add more letters. Source the list of letters we are adding to the base, in this case A, B, C and D. In this part, each source tells Power Query to go through every letter in our A, B, C, D list one by one. Let's imagine this step as a simple loop. It starts with the letter A and tries to combine it with something. Then it moves to B, C and finally D. Here comes the most important part, how Power Query combines the letters together to form combinations. I – this is the current letter from the base B we've already built. At first I could be an empty letter and later it could be something like A or AB. The underscore symbol represents the new letter we are adding from our sort list, so either A, B, C or D. The operation I ampersand underscore means that Power Query concatenates or joins two letters together. For example, when I is AB and underscore is C, it makes ABC. This process repeats over and over for every possible letter combination. Let's walk through a real example. In the first loop, B is just an empty string, nothing is there. Power Query takes each letter from source and joins it with the empty base. The result is A, B, C and D. Now we have four different one letter combinations. In the second round, the base is now filled with one letter combination. Power Query goes through the source list again and adds each letter to the base. When I is A and underscore is A, it creates AA and so on. We now have 16 two letter combinations. In the third and final round, our base B is made of two letter combinations AA, AB and so on. Power Query again loops over the source list and adds one more letter. When I is AA and underscore is A, it creates AAA. Now we have 64 combinations, each being a unique set of three letters. So to summarize, list transform many takes a base of 
combinations loops through each letter and adds them together. By the end, we get every possible combination of three letters using A, B, C and D. And for those who are still listening, I have a little trick. If you will change the number of zeros in the first argument, the number of letters in each combination will change. Also, you can modify the source list. So, keep experimenting and see you later.